India, almost 250 to 300 million people are not connected to the grid. How do we meet the challenges of a smart grid? EDF International has got an experience to get into renewable and distributed energy resources. We need to come up with good solutions which are not only sustainable but are also user friendly, especially for a developing country like India. We have just signed an agreement with Tata Power Daily Distribution, which is one of the mainest DSO in India. They have a very deep understanding as to what are the challenges. We bring to Tata our experience, our techniques and our technologies to help them to cope with this new reality of the distributed energy renewables. And gradually India is also going to have a lot of renewable generation, especially solar, integrated into the network. L'orientation voulue par EDF International Networks, c'est de développer notre activité par l'innovation, par les smart grids, parce que c'est là où nous avons une valeur ajoutée majeure aujourd'hui dans le monde et en particulier pour l'Inde. Tata Power is very eager to develop innovation, to develop R&D, to develop new opportunities in India, of course, and around the world. EDF International has the experience to deploy many interesting smart grid technology. They're also rolling out their smart meter program. So it will be very good to understand the effectiveness of how do you scale up such a large quantity of smart meters. There is a deep learning in terms of the data analytics and how we can, to that extent, improve the quality of service as well as the reliability of power to our consumers and also how to bring the stability into the grid. If we are all working together, at the end, the project will be a success and the grid operation and, of course, the quality of supply will be much better. I'm looking forward to personally learn uh, from their experience and their understanding of this business. Not only the technology part of it, but the business part of it and the business process re-engineering that they have carried out. Uh, how we can try to emulate that and learn from uh, their experience.